You're back. It doesn't matter. You don't care. Never mind. Oh. Did you see the jade plant? Its death is unfortunate. Yet another thing to be guilty for. Genitor. I need to finish this. I don't know what I'll do afterwards, but I need to see this through. What does the truth mean anymore? What does it matter? Will finding the truth bring back Hayden? Will it fix the pain they've left me in? Yes, you're right. Knowing the whys and wherefores will bring closure to this. I could use a measure of closure. I think for now we should keep knowledge of Hayden's death between you, Tomcat, and I. It may give us an edge if the people we seek don't know how much we've already discovered. We'll talk after you've had some time to rest. You likely need sleep, and I need some time to... I... need some time. I trust you slept well. <sighs> now that we are both refreshed, I feel it wouldn't hurt to recap our progress and determine if any changes should be made based on our successes and failures. Let's talk about how things are going so far. Since your journalistic efforts are a big part of why I originally recruited you, we can start there. So far, I might have expected a more inquisitive nature with those we meet, especially on a strong lead. People will listen to you more than they will me, so it's important to dig deep when possible. You're diligent in your day-to-day -day work as well, which further grounds my hope in you. Let's pick up the pace a little in this regard then, hmm? Your strong investigative prowess will prove invaluable. Don't forget that. Beyond journalistic persistence, let's take a look at how we performed in other responsibilities. Specifically, our choices in overcoming obstacles. Our first major hurdle proved challenging, but we made use of our surroundings and found a creative avenue. Furthermore, I am pleased with your utilization of non-violent methods. Eliminating any excessive risk should allow us to move swiftly. Finally, I was quite impressed by your ability to adapt on the fly, as they say, and perform so well when thrust into a sudden situation. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to discuss how we're getting along with our companions and allies along the way. It's important. While involving the authorities did get us the data cache back, I can't imagine those boys think very highly of us. As for Jess, she has already been very helpful, and now that we know she's an attorney, her potential to continue being useful is high. Things so far haven't been smooth, but if you get a chance to be nice to her, try to take it. For an old friend, things sure are tense between you and Lexi. I don't 
know the whole story of your history, but we don't want the wrong kind of police attention on us, no matter who it is. But let's aim to work within the law and try to be friendly along the way. Tomcat is a bit of a mystery, quirky nature aside. Try not to let it drain on you. They are skilled and I don't want them to distrust us. And finally, you and I. The road has been bumpy. We're both a bit out of our element and things are stressful. Let's both remember that we are on the same team here and try to turn things around for better as we continue our search. Unfortunately, we've just about run out of leads. Perhaps Tomcat was able to find something of use in Parallax's network while they were inside. I've rationed every available resource I have! Perhaps you have some bright ideas? You're a big shot investigative journalist, right? <laughs> you have an incoming call from Tomcat. Forwarding video and audio. Morning. Karen, how you been doing, hon? I'm fine, Tomcat. Thank you for your concern. Well, okay. Just say the word if I can help out in any way, you hear? Of course. In fact, I was hoping you might have a lead for us to start working at. Otherwise, we're down to canvassing Hayden's address book and seeing if any of his contacts have an idea about who might have had a desire to target him. But that's just fishing in the dark. Well, I pulled a fair amount of data from the Parallax servers before they managed to kick me out, but it'll take me a while to go through it. A lot of it's unrelated. TPS reports, maintenance logs, juicy meat for other corporations, but about as useful as dirt to us. Y'all still need to swing by the Stardust and drop off that data cache with Majid? The sooner the better. It'll take me a while to decrypt all of Hayden's files, but maybe we'll find something there. So, no, I don't have as much as a whiff of a trail on who's behind. I recently got a strange request from a friend of a friend. Someone's been messing with the articles of a news organization named Augmented Eye. It seems like the network security head there is asking around for cybercrackers to help figure out how their reports are getting changed. The original files on their servers are untouched. In their system, everything looks peachy keen. But when you view the site from the outside of the network, things are changed up. A word here, a phrase there, it's subtle, but often has a big impact on the article's tone. Someone with deep access to Parallax's mesh net is changing what's being shown. I ain't sure if it's related, but maybe y'all can head down to the main KCOB offices and try talking to the gal that runs Augmented Eye. Her name is Zim. I ain't got the time or the desire to stick my nose that far out for a stranger, but it seems like your kind of deal. Hmm, it does seem to be a bit of a stretch. But if we have to wait for you to work on the data we've collected anyway... Send y'all word as soon as I get anything worth hunting down. Excellent. Thank you, Tomcat. We are grateful for your continued assistance. No problem. 
problem, Terran. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Maybe you should take a little more time. You've been through some shit in the past few days. I said I was fine. Thank you for your concern, but I am fine. I have already handled the reality of Hayden's death. It's time to move on with the investigation. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on you. I'm, I'm just worried. So, uh, I'm here if you need anything. I.O. Corporation Office Building. It looks like most of the businesses on this block are a part of the same corporate coalition under Cos I.O. Well, perhaps. At the very least, it means it's unlikely they're the ones interfering with Augmented Eyes articles. Not impossible, but unlikely. says Augmented Eyes SF office is run by an individual named Zin, and Tomcat confirms she's expecting us. All we have to do now is head up and talk to her. No shenanigans this time. Oh, hello. Welcome to Augmented Eye. Must be the journalist my network admin said would be showing up. Have a seat. Would you like a drink? Right to business then. I can respect that. Look, I'll start off by saying I'm a little uncomfortable about bringing in another journalist to look into this. Whatever you dig up, I'll have to explain to the rest of the press. But it's still better than the other options. Chances are I have another corporation scoping out my territory. If they aren't in the coalition, they'll be expecting a corporate spy, not a news hound. If they are in the coalition, it won't look good for me to send in my own reporters against my allies. Even if I do end up being right. So if I'm damned either way, I'd rather it be by the media. 
At least then we can fight back on a familiar battlefield. Now, what do you know about our problem here? That's the long and short of it. My network admin is pulling their hair out over it. I'm not going to pretend I understand everything they say, but from what I understand, the changes to our articles aren't being made from inside our network. The versions on our servers are still the originals, but at some point after they hit the mesh, they get changed. I'm hoping that you can do some digging, maybe hit up your contacts and get a lead on who might be doing it. Even if I have to get answers from the nightly news, it will be a big help. Mostly little things. Word choice, tone of the writing, things that make the writer appear more or less extreme on a topic. So far, almost all of the edits seem to be making our articles more positive on new technologies coming out, and more critical of organizations like the Human Revolution. That's actually what tipped us off. A harsh criticism one of my writers made about the Human Revolution protests was changed to be downright vitriolic, and I had a hell of a time putting out the fires. My writers and readers aren't exactly fans of them, but I'd rather not pick fights with the human revolution if I don't have to. I guess I'm not, but my network admin assures me it's all coming from somewhere else. They told me that they tore out all of the routers that broadcast to the mesh and replaced them with fresh ones. All kinds of tricks involving IP addresses and DNS changes that I'm not going to even begin to claim to understand. I pay them big bucks, so I'm inclined to believe them unless you dig up something that tells me otherwise. Not really. My admin says that only someone with intimate access to Parallax's network protocols could make these kind of changes as something passes across the net. Personally, I think it's a clever hacker rather than someone inside Parallax itself. The public trust rating of Parallax makes them look like a saint among wolves, so their control over the mesh network provisions is strangling. It's trivially easy to set up ROMs to use a different OS than LIPS or a different MeshNet protocol without that trust. Or, you know, Parallax is abusing its power to spread pro-tech propaganda. Double they need to. I'm sure you'll be a good journo and bring me back the right answer. I know Tin Hat conspiracies aren't an ideal start, but it's the best we can do with the info we have. Anything else I can tell you, off the record? If you want it on the record, it'll cost you your firstborn and a really good cigar. Like what? There isn't much more I can tell you about Augmented Eye, really. It's a fairly simple and straightforward operation, if I say so myself. We started off in Venezuela as a sleek current events and news organization in 2055, almost 10 years ago now. We focus on more in-depth reporting of on-the-street happenings, on top of major news.
we are one of the few good ones left. Once folks in other cities saw the type of reporting we do, they all clamored for it. They invested in the right places, and it paid off. Cos IO Corp is happy to have us here in the OSF. It wasn't until hybrid tech started hitting the public sphere that we had to make any changes to our model. All of that said, I can't see why anyone would target us. Unless they're just trying to embroil us in a mudslinging match with the human revolution, and there are much more direct ways of making that happen. Ugh, alright, look. I wasn't going to tell you this. If it gets out, I'd have to answer some really hard questions. So, you didn't hear this from me. You might want to go check out TMI Entertainment and Charlie Nova. That's all I'll say. And remember, you take a bite out of him with my name as your defense, I drop you fast. Hmm? What? Not wanting to answer prying questions from my coalition board isn't a good enough reason. Cause I'd really like to avoid that. And look, you've covered culture wars, right? My journalists are good, but they're mostly good at gadget reviews, implant releases, not taking too many stims so they remember what they did at raves for the after-party reports. This needs an investigative journalist with serious contacts, not tech personalities. The fact that my network admin recommended you to me means you probably know the right people. Now, does that cover it? I'd like to remove my nose from your ass. No, don't bother. In hindsight, I probably should have been a bit more circumspect about speaking to you. Plausible deniability and all that. I won't ask you to lie in anything you write, but do remember you got in contact with me not even secondhand, but thirdhand. I certainly didn't sick you on anyone. Wink wink, nudge nudge, or whatever. If you need anything else, have your person get with my person. Don't come here directly. Now, I'd show you the door, but you know the way. And this isn't the only fire I'm trying to put out. Good luck, and goodbye. Well, that was more confrontational than I'd have expected, considering she was the one needing help. Is it always like this? Very true. I will admit that I am interested in the possibility of a link back to Parallax. If all of this really is due to somebody manipulating the mesh net on the inside, it may give us the leverage we need to find out what happened to Hayden once and for all. That said, I will take care not to get my hopes up. We should make no assumptions when investigating, lest we lead ourselves down a false path. Anyway, seems like our next step is... Wh what the...
you must think you're so funny. A woman may be dead, and all you care about is a punchline. I'll remember that when you get thrown from a window and die. Ha, ha, ha. Perhaps you are cold and dead inside, but the rest of us still have hearts. So, if you're satisfied, let's head back up to her office. Maybe we can find out what happened. Hmm, it looks like the desk has been cleared off. Let's take a look around, but be careful not to disturb any evidence. The police will be here soon. Her personal computer is not password protected at the moment. Give me a moment to look through her files. Best to keep your fingerprints off of the keyboard. Mm, most of this isn't very interesting. Committee reports, financials, article submissions. Here we go. According to this email between Zin and her network admin, her lead on TMI Entertainment is a little more solid than she led us to believe. The admin ran a web crawler looking for changes in writing styles. Some blog posts by their head anchor Charlie Nova stood out like a sore thumb. Apparently he's a bit pompous, if in an affable way, and his blog usually just details his dick. But ever since the human revolution has been in town, my thermal sensors only detect a single set of lingering footprints, and they end almost three feet away from the window. Considering the density of this glass, I can't imagine Zin jumped from that far and managed to throw herself through the pane without help. But who could have done it? I don't see any obvious marks on the floor or any other thermal hotspots. It doesn't look like it. Oh yeah! Give me one good reason why I shouldn't drag you in for questioning right now. I assure you, Detective Rivers, we are merely in the wrong place at the wrong time. We had an appointment with Zinn to discuss a possible lead and found her office in this state of disrepair. Of course you did. Damn it. Fine, fine. Get the hell out of here before anyone else shows up. We'll chat about the case more when I'm not busy scraping bodies off the pavement, you hear me? Certainly, Detective Rivers. I'll forward you a report of what we know immediately, and we can speak further at a later time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Get moving. Ooh. It doesn't matter anyway. Detective Rivers has every bit of information that Zinn gave us on that computer. Her investigation will not be hampered by our absence, whereas ours is halted if we're stuck giving answers she can just as well... some pity for me still remains considering my recent tone because I'm honestly not sure where we should start I suppose we should just ask the receptionist to point us to somebody who can answer our questions to 
on the other side of the room. Don't bother the talent, though. She hates that. all my appointments for the day. I swear, that girl couldn't find her ears if I taped them over her eyes. At least she makes a decent cup of coffee. What? Zin? Augmented eyes, Zin? What does Zin have to do with this? She's the one who gave us the lead to begin with. Then, someone threw her out of her office window. We figured Mr. Nova might be next, and we wanted to get... Fantastic! I just love your ROM! Not quite as stunning as mine, but still pretty grand. Very sleek, very clean, bravo! Sympathy is doing that thing where she waves at me to hurry things up. Right down to brass tacks then, I suppose. Wait! I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Charlie Nova, host of Tonight in the Stars and Star in the Stratosphere. But you already knew that, I'm sure. What can I do for you, hmm? Oh, you flatter me. Yes, you do. I can't imagine you've come all this way just to get my story, have you? After all, I've already published my very own splendid 100% original autobiography, Like a Nova. But I suppose I can give you a quick rundown, even if sympathy is giving me the stinker. Yes, any additional information on your station would be greatly appreciated. Well, it's the best damn network on the planet, I can... Oh, it may... I'm not quite sure what you're insinuating, but I don't think I like it. I am a pillar of this community, and I care deeply about our reports getting to the viewer the way they're intended. I assure you that sympathy is on top of the situation, and with that, I'll have to bid you good day. All right, that's enough. Charlie has a show to get ready for. He's told you everything he's going to. So get the hell out of here. If you find anything more interesting than what you got, come back and see me again. Directly. Remember, I'm the victim in all this. Oh man, she looks really cheesed off now. Do you know how snippy she can get? Better get her coffee ready. Maybe that'll calm her down. We're very sorry if we made your day more difficult. Perhaps I could take the coffee over to Sympathy and we could try to smooth her rumpled feathers. Um, yeah, okay, sure. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You make her even matter? Oh no. One sec. 
second thought. It'll only take a minute. All right, but she takes it with plenty of milk. to beat it, or do your ears just not work? Ha! Ah, that's cute. I promise I don't bite, I just have a job to do. seeps into his brain, but he brings in most of our revenue, so his happiness is our top priority. Ugh, my stomach is killing me. Maybe those egg rolls I had earlier. I'm heading to the can, and you're heading to the street. signed photo. <laughs> it's Charlie. And honestly, I'd absolutely love to help you out. I suppose that's one way to get groceries. This looks like the spot. Speedy.
Nope. Nope, I don't know you. VR interfaces require a hardline connection to receive I.O. So unless Charlie's been using a headset to route his ROM's HUD through it, there ain't no way to get into it. And if Charlie's installation got infected, I don't see what the hell that has to do with me. Tell him to buy some antivirus software and keep off the sketchy porn sites. The end. tuned sense of electromagnetic fields. All ROMs do. We need to be able to maintain optical contact with the mesh, catalog and use various wireless transmissions, and avoid areas with dangerously high interference. Your stock off-the-shelf ROM has very little command over the frequencies available to be scanned. But I'm starting to realize how very little of me is stock or off-the-shelf after the changes Hayden made. That means when the humidity is low, the air fairly sings for me, amongst other things. Meaning, in layman's terms, I could read his monitor over his shoulder while... Mr. Otska is a moderately prominent tech blogger, respected, perhaps a bit vitriolic, he catches my attention, though, because historically he has been very critical of Parallax in his posts. Recently, though, the tone has been increasingly moderate, and now he is almost effusive in his praise. His fans are accusing him of shilling for the company, but many of his earliest posts show some of the same manipulations that we saw from Augmented Eye and Nova's blog. Now it's like he's being ghostwritten entirely. Couldn't hurt to check, right? I've marked the location of Shataro Otsuka's apartment on your map. This is the building. J2.
Greetings. Mr. Otska's apartment is on the second floor. Shotaro must be plugged into the mesh. He hasn't even noticed us. What the hell are you doing back here? Wait, wait, let me guess. You stole some of my files, or hacked my brain, Let's move on. 